How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Hope you're all having a good day. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Volvo XC40. So this is the latest car tech video. Let's check it out. If you're looking for what's probably the safest SUV on the road, the XC40 or Volvos in general is probably the best out there there is. At least that's how it made me feel during my time with the XC40 T5 all-wheel drive R-Design Pro. Mouthful. It looks compact without compromising the legroom, boot size, headroom, and all the extra storage bits uh, you get with it. In fact, I came away thinking the XE40 is a chameleon. It can drive with comfort when you need it to, and it can switch it up, and it lets you put that 250 horsepower to use when you need to, thanks to that Polestar software as well. Anyway, as we do on Gadgets Boy, this is not a car review. Instead, we'll look at the car tech in the XE40 and see what it has to offer. And before I go through the five car tech that I enjoyed in the XC40, it's worth mentioning that I've never seen a car come with so much kit as standard. Every XC40 comes with a nine inch center console touchscreen, Volvo on call with app, which is even available for your smartwatch so you can control various car functions remotely and also acts as an emergency and tracking service. Full European mapping with traffic information and lifetime map updates. You got voice activated control system, a range of web apps and browse, the in, you'll be able to browse the internet. You've got pedestrian, cyclist and large animal detection and front collision warning with fully automatic emergency braking, including at junctions, automatic steering assistant if you unwittingly drift out of your lane, automatic front seat belt, tighten and chewed the car in, in eventually leave the road, while front seat frames with a collapsible section reduce vertical forces to help prevent spinal cord injury or spinal injuries. You've got LED headlights with active high beam, two zone climate control with clean zone air quality system. You've got rear parking sensors, hill start assist, cruise control with speed limiter and a 12.3 inch active TFT crystal drivers information display. Wow, that's, let's take a deep breath. At this point I can end this video because the list is probably the longest I've ever seen a standard with any vehicle that I've driven so far. What you get is most of them will come on as, as an extra and in fact some aren't even available as an extra to pay for anyway. Volvo prides itself on driver safety and the car feels premium ends a good mix of safety car tech and entertainment in there as well. Without further ado, let's go through my top five tech I found on the XE40 that I really like. First up is the XE40 sound system. The XE40 comes with sensors connect coupled with premium sound by Harman Kardon. You can adjust the settings from bass, treble, audio focus, and even surround sound level as well. Although it's an extra for just over 500 pounds, you get Dolby Pro Logic 2 surround sound, direct unison, 13 speakers with 600 watt output, a subwoofer, and boy does this sound immersive, no matter what music genre you throw at it, or whether you're sitting in the car front or you're sitting in the, in the back, it doesn't matter. As standard, you get eight speakers with 250 watt output. Up next, we have that 9-inch center console portrait touchscreen. It supports voice-activated control for key functions like asking the system to navigate you to a destination. You have DAB radio, Bluetooth and free system, access to a range of selected web applications, connected service uh, booking, and for connectivity and charging your smartphone, you get one uh, front USB port and one at the rear as well. There's also Volvo sensors navigation with European mapping that I mentioned earlier. It has traffic information system, and Volvo even promises a lifetime annual map update, which puts your mind at ease. The console itself is very intuitive, uh, responds very well to touch, and almost feels like an iPad Pro's position there. You can slide across, press and hold to move things around, drag down to view notifications, and ultimately, it's easy to find things. It's very logical. My only qualm is that there are so many settings to go through and tweak if you really want to make it your own, so take your time on that one. The UI theme can even be modified and uh, this is probably the most comprehensive infotainment system I've seen or used since an Audi. And I also like that it supports Apple CarPlay. The driver also gets a 12.3 inch active TFT crystal drivers information display which changes attitude and look uh, depending on the drive mode that you've selected. So you can adjust what you want to view as a priority but I feel the area uh, this area is a lot better uh, can be a lot better with different drive modes so when in Polestar for example I'd love to see the speed, uh, the speedometer centered and maybe change the color a, bit, a little bit more to make it look aggressive and I'm about to speed or something. But that's a different discussion in general. Next, we have all the safety tech and boy, there's a lot packed into this thing. The XE40 has Volvo safety DNA and comes with so much safety uh, car tech as standard as well, as mentioned earlier on in the video. You have pedestrian, cyclist and large animal detection and front collision warning with full auto brake, oncoming lane and runoff road mitigation and protection. 
Slippery Road and Azad Light Alert. If you have a mobile data online access and a connectivity, you've got speed limiter, you have driver alert control with lane keeping aid, road sign information display, and you have seatbelt reminder and pretensionist for front and outer re rear seat system and plenty more there as well. During my time with the XE40, some of these features I tested intentionally and the ones that I intentionally tested as well worked really well, like the automatic braking when I wasn't paying attention. Make sure you pay attention when you're driving guys, by the way. Lane keep uh, features worked really well as well, which I ended up really depending on while I was driving long distance. Next, you can control the XE40 remotely using a smartphone, tablet, or smartwatch. With Vovo on call with app, you get emergency and breakdown call functions, engine remote start on automatic transmission uh, versions, you can send destination to your car, so if someone's telling you where to go when you're not in the car, you can send it to the car. You've got stolen vehicle tracking, remote door unlocking, driving journal, vehicle dashboard monitor, and additional slot for data sim. This is particularly cool as you can keep an eye on your car without the need to be in your car all the time. So you could be laying in bed at night time and you need to check how much fuel you've got. You can check that and plan your journey and then maybe send your journey to the car as well. Finally, we have Polestar software. As it comes with a T5 engine, you can pay extra to have Polestar performance software optimization installed, which I would certainly recommend if you can afford to do so. Besides being able to adjust the settings for your own individual driving style, such as making uh, the suspension harder or making the steering more tense, you can use the Polestar performance to get more power out of your engine without compromising on fuel consumption or efficiency. Volvo Polestar optimization software upgrades uh, brings heightened engine power, faster, more precise gear capability and fine-tuned throttle response, which really, really translates to what they're saying here. So whether you need to overtake or come out of a roundabout very quickly, this is the one that you need for that. It works amazingly well. And when you need to switch back to just comfort mode, just change driving mode and you're back to normal again. So that's it for the Volvo XC40. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well. So you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.